factoring trinomial using tiles? Amazing. Let us see how we can do it in this particular video. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, I'll show you very interesting approach to factor trinomials. In one of our videos, we have done difference of squares. Now, it's a visual approach which is going to help many students to understand and appreciate what are they doing. So, factoring means writing these sums and differences as product of two polynomial expressions. Correct? Now, those products could be represented by a rectangle. So, basically, we are interested in forming a rectangle whose area is given to us. For example, one of the question is x square plus x minus 6. We need to find what is the polynomial a of x and what is the polynomial b of x? When they are multiplied, we get x squared plus x minus 6. Correct? You can always do it with product and sum and different techniques which we have learned. However, we'll see the area concept of tiles using tiles. So let us try to factor x square plus x minus 6 using these tiles. So we have square tiles. The blue tiles are positive and red will be considered negative. These are the unit tiles and this is the x tile, right? x square means two sides, x each. Here x means x and 1, right? One unit. 1 times x is x. And this is unit. 1 times 1. So let us see, how do we do these questions one by one? After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandilani. Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulik Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. Now we need to factor this trinomial which has three terms x square plus x minus 6. So the strategy is start with the highest power which is x square in our case. Since it is positive, I am using a blue color for it. So this is x square, positive x square. Now, we have minus 6 and x. 1x, let me place it above this. I could place it on either side. So, let this be x. So, length is x and this is 1 unit, right? So, this is x unit. Perfect. Now, I have to place these 6 units. Since it is red, I'll place the 6 units. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5. So, I am making a, on the corner side, I am placing these 6 units. There you go. So, that is minus 6. Do you see that? So, I have already shown x square plus x and minus 6 in red. So, that is our first step to diagonally place the units. Right? So, the important thing is start with x square. Diagonally. Place units constant. Which in this case is minus 6. And also, on any side you can put x x on adjacent side.
x square and 1, right? So, so these are the three steps done. The fourth step is to complete the rectangle with equal number of positive and negative units added. You get the idea. So, this is our step 1. Now, step 2 is complete rectangle. Perfect. So, how do you complete it? So, I am taking a neutral color. So, we could place one x here, right? Another x. We could place one x and another x. So, that completes the rectangle. Do you see that? Since we have to maintain what we had, so we will add plus x and minus x. Do you see that? So, that way is we ensure that whatever is added is actually nullified. Perfect. So, what do you get as a result? One side for you here is 1, 2, 3 units, right? x plus 3. And on this side, we have length of x and minus 2. So, we have a rectangle whose area is the given expression x square plus x minus 6 and the dimensions are x plus 3 and times x minus 2. And therefore, we could factor this as writing this as x plus 3 times x minus 2. Make sense? So, that is how we could factor you can expand and verify, right? x square minus 2x plus 3x. So, plus 3x minus 2x is x and 3 times minus 2 is 6. So, we get exactly the required expression. Perfect. Now, here is a better drawing for you to understand and appreciate. So, once again, the steps involved are begin with the x square, right? So, we place this x square here and then we place x on top of it and in the corner we have placed this 6, right? Do you see? And what I'm trying to say here is that this is adjacent, right? This x is having a common link with units placed and square placed. So, that is how we have placed it. Now, we have to complete the square. To complete the square, what could I do? Well, to complete the square, I will extend and join, right? Square got completed. And you can clearly see what are the additions. So, additions are that both sides, we have added x which are negative and also we have added x which are positive. So, two positive and two negative makes it 0. So, we maintain the expression and the area is on this side we have x plus sorry minus 2 because those are negative numbers and here we have positive numbers right x plus 2 or x plus 3 because 1 is already there. So, 1, 2 and 3 perfect. So, we could factor this as x plus 3 times x minus 2 as shown here. Does make sense to you, right? x 1 unit, 1 unit, one. x plus 3 and x minus 1 minus 1, x minus 2. Does make sense to you? Perfect. I hope you like and appreciate it. So, that is a cool way of factoring trinomials. Very interesting. Next. This time, I have a very interesting example, x square minus 4x plus 4. Some of you might have recognized it is a perfect square, but we will soon see how. I would like you to pause the video and arrange these tiles to form a rectangle. Okay. Let us begin. x square, first thing to do, Right, so we have this x square 
means x times x, right? This is x squared. Then I would like to put 4 on the corner, right? So, so the 4 comes there in the corner. These are 4 units and I have to put minus 4x, okay, so I can put 2 here and 2 there, makes sense, right? So that should be completing this particular rectangle, do you see that? So I don't have to borrow any tiles to complete this tile, so this is a perfect square. Whose dimensions are, as you can see very clearly, x minus 2, right? And on this side also, x minus 2, correct? So, x minus 2 whole square is what we have, whose area is x square minus 4x plus 4. Do you see that? So, the perfect squares, we don't have to borrow any tiles or add. All are sufficient enough to get this complete square. Here's a neat diagram to show you the complete perfect square. So, you begin with x square. You can place these constants as shown here. And this minus 4 fits in very well to complete the square which is x minus 2 whole square, right? So, I can write this as equal to x minus 2 whole square. Do you understand and appreciate this factoring process? I hope you do. Please leave your suggestions and comments. And in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Thanks for your time and all the best.